Well, so far I've gotten to enjoy a soft break in on my new fenders. Uh, first day I rode it, it was uh, cold but sunny outside. So what that meant is uh, uh, just got to see if it was rubbing or making noises and stuff. Today, uh, it's been raining last night, so the roads will be a little wet. Uh, but it, And uh, there is a thread of rain in an hour or so, but it's not raining right now. So um, I might be able to get through this ride without actually getting rained on. Got on my rain gear just in case. Uh, so getting to kind of slowly break in and try out these new fenders, see if they're going to do me uh, any good. I'm ready to go, excited about the ride. Okay, I got that ride done. Haven't even looked to see how many miles. It'll be in the ballpark of 20, I think. Um, I called it when I started out, I called it a soft test or soft break-in for these fenders, these specialized dry tech fenders. Um, it wasn't raining when I left. Road was a little bit wet, so I could see the front tire throwing a little bit of water in front of me, you know, in front of that fender. Um, but I couldn't tell what was going on on my bike. I still don't know what's going on on my backside or any of those kind of things. We'll have to see if I've got any kind of stripe uh, from dirt stripe uh, when I get my clothes off, uh, get these things off. Um, but it seems like it worked really well and uh, it rained um, not enough for me to ever put my, my hood on. One time I thought I was getting rain enough that I, I might just stop and, and get this uh, rain hood on, but I never did. Uh, it wasn't too bad. So uh, this ride is done. A good day to be on the bike. Okay, so here's the verdict on how the fenders worked on today's ride. Of course, it wasn't that wet, but um, my clothes stayed dry and clean, pants, uh, coat, uh, all of that straight stayed uh, dry and clean the seat bag underneath my um, you know the the bicycle seat uh, is dry and clean which means the seat also is dry and clean there is um, some uh, there are no pine needles in the drivetrain at all which that's the biggest thing that happens in this weather is that I start picking up pine needles dead pine needles and they get all through the gears in the drivetrain uh, nothing like that some there were some uh, pine needles that are kind of stuck into the back, the bottom, the underside of the fender. Uh, but that the bike uh, itself is very clean comparatively. The only thing that really happened is my overshoes. So I, I wear a, a set of neoprene overshoes um, when it's raining like this. Um, they got wet, but not dirty and uh, not as wet as normal and, and then not dirty at all. And they did get, um, they, they got wet enough that uh, the water soaked clear through them, through my shoes. Shoes aren't drenched soaked though. And then my socks are also uh, soaked up some water as well. Um, so uh, not as bad for by any means, but my feet still got wet. So uh, that's uh, how the fenders worked. I'm pretty tickled really.